Hello everybody, welcome to round three of the planes. We've got Nico Daz with Underworld in blue versus World Sitar with Black Orcs in red. Um, I think Nico Daz has gone for the safer. No, no, Nico Daz has gone for the crazy Underworld build. Nico Daz has gone for the crazy one. He's got a strip gutter, he's got a claw blitzer, and then wrestle and block. As you, and and two heads on the throw. It's completely and block on the rogue. It's a completely abnormal, crazy underworld build. Crazy underworld build. Not not like pretty much any other underworld build out there. Um, why does it look like he's only got ten players? Oh, because he's put these snotlings in the wide zones so that his extra ones can complete the rule of five. Um, if he gets two more. And then World Sitar's team is very similar to Colian's. Colian has six guard. World Sitar has five guard and one mighty blow. And he's got a pro troll instead of a block troll. And of course the sneaky git. And unlike Inarian, he has gone for uh, chi leaders and assistant coaches and an apple rather than two more goblins. I do prefer Inarian's take on the extra players. But there you go. And he does get two players, and they do complete the rule of five. Quick snap does nothing. Uh, Black Orcs are clearly not overpowered, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> In case anyone's wondering, they're rubbish. But <laughs> they're quite good versus stuff like dwarves. But, uh, you know, can't do much. This is a devastating LOS. <laughs> oh, Jim LOS from uh, World Sitar here. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. He blitzes him so he can try and get max blocks. Gets another. <laughs> uh, well, you know. Maybe he could have taken some block. Maybe he could have taken some block. But uh, there you go. That's the weakness. That's the weakness of no block, isn't it? Um, a completely pathetic turn there. Didn't knock down a single goblin. And now Nico Daz has 13 players on the field still. To try and do something on defense. Doesn't get a knockdown, he must be absolutely cursing his dice. How unlucky can somebody be? <laughs> nope, rolled a double one. And that's it, he <laughs> pushes again. <laughs> I hope he just does Oh, he vomits at it because he just knows he can't roll a power, so he just vomited at it. Oh my god, amazing. Amazing. Another 3D. He gets that pow! Oh my god. What a day. What a time to be alive. He finally rolled a pow. After about fucking... God knows how many dice. Like 30 dice? Probably 6, 7, 8, 9... Yeah, probably about 30 dice. It probably took him, like, 30 dice. Maybe 27. A lot of dice. Holy moly. Gets a Kaz look. That's alright, isn't it? It's actually alright, getting a Kaz there. Wow. And, like, it's a, it's a, it's a block, Kaz. So, block clan rats are decent cars. Oh wow, we're going roger on troll action. Surely. No, claw, I'm gonna claw him of course. 1D claw, I mean I didn't know why it'd be 1D, but there you go. That, that's what threw me, the 1D, but uh, he gets the AV break because of claw. Nico Daz genius confirmed. Claw is superior, sometimes. <laughs> Z 
is not blitzing with a mighty blower. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the pro, but uh, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of pros, but I don't judge anybody. Like, uh, oh, of course, he put him on the sideline thinking he had sidestep, but bro, uh, grab just, you know, just counter sidestep, so he, even on the blitz, so he was able to surf him. So that's why he was blitzing there. Hello, Jam Toast. Congratulations in error BB. I don't mind that it's kind of a spoiler. Four. So yeah, a bit of a mistake there by Nico Daz, right? You probably forgot about grab counting sides there. I uh, I I played somebody on Fumble in uh who had Underworld and I had Dwarves and I had randomed a, a grab dwarf and uh, I managed to surf a, sn a snotling that he'd because he'd forgotten about grabs so that was pretty nice here we go six dice on this snotling <laughs> I bet worlds of Tars getting sick of this bullshit by now isn't he <laughs> hey <laughs> No AV break. I don't really like fouling snots, right? There's a decent chance of you getting sent off for a stunt. And even getting sent off for a Kaz isn't very good. But, like, I know there's not many good players on an underworld team, so, like, it's hard to not pull the trigger. So, you know, maybe it's correct. Like, it could definitely be correct to do these fouls. It's just I wouldn't like doing it. But, uh, could well be correct. I like that the rogue hasn't activated once, by the way. On turn four. Most reliable big guy. Using a double on him. Unactivated. Troll pro fails. Yeah, the phantom dice thing is so weird, isn't it? So 3D with Mighty Blow gets the POW. I'm going to just pile forward and sneaky git again. I found the gobbles, I think, is a bit better. Claw comes in. The old 1D blitz. I love that Nico does just never wants to activate his Roger. <laughs> it's pretty good. Like it's obviously understandable as well, right? If he if he commits it, it will just get 2D'd and uh, fouled out. So it's uh, <laughs> it's not great. <laughs> it's not a great piece to have right now. So he's doing the right thing. It's just funny that he spent a double on it and. Uh, Wait, what happened? He re-rolled. He used a re-roll to re-roll the an animal savagery. And the loner worked and the animal savagery worked. That is nuts. I do not think it worth the chance of casting your own player to move him two squares. But he did. And there's a death. The gutter runner dead. The gutter runner was exposed. And it was instantly killed. Okay. And the apple was a dead. Well, Oriolensis would concede right about now. But Nico does, made of sterner stuff. Amazing, that isn't it? Imagine casting the gutter the first time you hit it. God, that must feel good, mustn't it? That must feel good. <laughs> <laughs> the first time you hit the underworld gutter, you cas it. Holy moly. Yeah. And it, it's also the kind of mistake that you feel like people should only be able to make once, but uh, somehow be able to keep making it throughout an entire game sometimes. So Roger Frenzy traps himself in without a care in the world.
It is turn 7, so we need some penetration here. For the Black Orcs. Kaz is him. <laughs> oh my god. So you've got to blitz the claw, right? Oh, I don't like this. I really hate this. I think you just blitz the claw, right? The claw doesn't have... Doesn't have... He doesn't have dodge. And it just clears, like, more of a space to get up. Like, a closer space to get forward. Look, you, you, you don't just want penetration, uh, Fearing. You need penetration. Otherwise, you just can't win. And it's another sideline cage versus stunties. Always uh, a bit hit or miss. And he rolls a double one. <laughs> He's removed. One, two, three, four, Carry five, six. It's a one GFI to score. He's got three rerolls, so now he can safely make loads of... Oh, wow, he goes for the vomit and makes another Kaz. Oh, my God. It's a massacre. It's a massacre. <laughs> but this is good, isn't it, right? If this was Blood Bowl 2, you couldn't do anything. With three rerolls, you'd just have to try for the score. You could you could chain here, right? This is the play. So this is a slight... slight. So this is a... If you remember Gedernik with his fuck you and your banger ways that he, that he said in one game in, in Chalice, what... 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 Uh, what World Sitar could have done here was fill in a square, push him to here, here, and then like blitz him and then block him or whatever. Like do something right. Like push him to there and then blitz him so that he's there. And then you block him and then you chain forward your gut to one, right? The goblin. He could have definitely changed his goblin. Uh, like on 3Ds, right? He could have chained his goblin on 3Ds. Which is probably what he should have done. He probably should have chained his goblin on 3Ds. But. I mean, he rolled a power anyway. But he should have tried. <laughs> he should have tried to chain his goblin on 3Ds. But rolled a 2 plus anyway. But that would have been technically correct, I'm sure. Oh god, I'm doing forward instead of switching the thing. So yeah, this is pretty horrific for the underworld. Got nine players, capped at twelve. No roger. No block clan rat. No wrestle clan rat. And most importantly, no gutter. So. <laughs> got five players and four snotlings. It's over. It's over. Even Elliot would say this is over. Even Elliot would say this is over. Jesus Christ. I think he's got 11 now, though. Underworld being Underworld, he does have 11 players. But one, two, three, four, five of them are snotlings. Aggressive columns, good defense versus a uh, few players. Well, Maud ready. Um, on replays, first of all, it's easier because the game is so, like, the replay is so much faster than the replays in Blood Bowl 2. Um, but generally, I, you know, I, I hope people join me on replay casts. Just depends, doesn't it? Time, like, obviously, this kind of the year, I guess, people are busy and stuff. You know, Dimmy's working a lot of the time, isn't he? So, uh, find me as going to Spain. So, you know, like, there's, uh, you know, people, people, some people join sometimes, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Whereabouts in Spain? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, pro fails again. 
I mean his home in Spain. I don't know where that is. But visiting his uh his family one would expect one would expect. It does, doesn't it, Mordredi? Yeah. I agree. I agree. That's like that's a pretty wild decision to, to, to choose Scotland over Spain. Ooh, I, I didn't. I think this is too weak over this side. I would, I would have definitely moved the sneaky get over here a bit. But. Oh, it's a Daka. It's a Daka with five movement five players. Love it. Oh no, it's a half dacker. It's not. We're not even dackering. I thought he was going to dacker, but it's just a half dacker. I mean, uh, <laughs> Blackhawks are pretty bad versus a dacker, aren't they? Oh my god, he's rolled a one. Okay, he uses the reroll. Blackhawks are pr pretty bad versus a dacker, aren't they? They've got the grab and stuff for the like the sideline plays, but uh, their movement force, they like they're so unresponsive that you know if you can roll some dice versus them, they're in a lot of trouble, aren't they? So, you know, even though World Sitar's probably grinning like an idiot right now versus this, you know, shitty five-snotling team, um, he has got to be careful because, you know, it's not over. <laughs> it's not over. They, they, can, uh, they can reposition a lot better than him still. Like, it's pretty over. It's obviously pretty over, but it's not 100% over. Like he's getting he's getting his black hawks just stuck on snotlings, right? Which is pretty shit. Like a black hawk on a snotling is basically the same as like a human lineman on a snotling, right? So it's not great. Oh yeah, he might just miss the existence, especially on this horrible looking pitch. Really horrible looking pitch. Really, really is horrible. <laughs> And that's not to say that the assets aren't good and professionally made. It's just uh, it's just hard to tell what the hell's happening, isn't it? Which is the problem. Yeah, I always use the Z playing against the world. Yeah, that's a good tip. That is a good tip. You press Z, you can see the circles, and that helps you pick out where the snotlings actually are. Rolls another double one. He's rolled so many double ones on these snotlings. It's amazing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, you know, we can pause here. And we can look at this and it's like, yeah, okay. It looks good, doesn't it? Looks good here. Right, great. You know, if you look at the pitch like this, you're like, well, why is everyone saying the pitches are bad? This looks nice. But when you're playing out here and you just want to see where people are, it's just, it's just a blah. Blah. He's rolled so many snotling snakes. He's rolled a lot of snotling snakes. Oh, surf. I mean, you've got to surf this guy. God, so how many, how many are left for the underworld now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight players. And four of them are snotlings. He takes the ball down, Kaz's himself. He run bads it. <laughs> he does the run bad block. <laughs> Makes the run bad block. Ball's confirmed. Like you get something here, but four players are completely out of it, right? Four players are on completely the wrong side now. And this guy can only get to here. And these two can't get too far. So, like, Blackhawks are really, 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 really slow. Really slow. Nice turn, nice turn from uh, Nick or Daz there. Troll pro works this time. 
And he gets to meander across the board. Doesn't keep the goblin with him. He's going to keep the black orc with him. Does nothing to him. Hate that. Hate that play there. From World Sitar. Because that's another black orc not moving over. I would have rather like double geified with him last action. I like this place. Yeah, I would have rather double geified with him at the end. Even just single GFI, right? Keep this screen. Interestingly, that's that's exactly where this guy goes. So maybe he didn't. Maybe he was correct, right? Because he's he swapped he swapped sides, so he's he's already got him there. So it looks like he was correct, correct to do those hits. Still can't get a hit on the ball here, can he? But he does get a 3D blitz with Mighty Blow and everything in contact. Hmm. And so what I oh, okay. So what I prefer is I would have preferred to see this guy on the outside here because this this guy can put guard in there for this 3D. So I think I'd have rather kept the outside locked down a bit. Very minor point, but there's only a 2D. Maybe he didn't see this goblin. Because doing it Oh it was always hitting the claw. Okay, he's hitting the claw. Okay. Hmm. I guess right, he's strength three, he's got block. Okay, <laughs> was him. I would have gone for the 3D on the Goblin, though. Interesting, that, isn't it? I would have had this guy here, in here, so I would have had two guards on the claw. But yeah, he can just dodge away. <laughs> A million dodges from the Snotling finally succeeds. This is only a. Oh, well, I mean, so I was, okay, obviously he's a goblin, right? But even for a black orc, that's only a 5 plus in, right? Because it's only minus 1 dodge. But yeah, goblins don't have minuses anyway, so. Just the 1D blitz. More GFIs. He's rolling all of the dice this turn, as Nico does. All of the dice. Wow. So now... You know, did he push up too high? Should he have stayed deeper? Because was really tempting. I, would have done, I think I would have done the same, honestly, like pressing in last turn. And maybe he had to just keep his, keep his depth keep his shape and his depth a bit more because this is uh, this is pretty shit isn't it you've managed to let about five players get past you because orcs are so black orcs are so slow slow so just horrendously slow yeah Indeed, Hammers, yeah, like that's what all it is, isn't it? Moving five, even, like, you, because the, the snotlings are mobile, right? They're not, they're not fast, but they're mobile, so they're able to, like, cut the corners and stuff. So it's not just the speed, but the mobility, like, they, they haven't got a lot of speed. They haven't really got much move seven, right? They haven't got a lot of speed, but they do have the mobility with the, uh, he made, he made the goblin dodges, he made the snotling dodges. And, uh,. This guy's probably got G5 to here. Yep. Game is just gonna roll a million dice, right? Dodge off the claw and hit the goblin. Dodge and GFI with all the snotlings.
Goblin makes the dodges. <laughs> this is like the slowest, worst push ever. <laughs> it's just gonna work. It's just gonna work because dwarves aren't lizard men. <laughs> It's looking that bad that you go for the surf now. Oh, it's not even a surf. It's not even a surf. It's, it, it, I couldn't tell where the sideline was with all these bloody, uh, all these, you know, tiles everywhere. So it's not even a surf now. Flip me. I think it was a surf earlier, wasn't it? Maybe it wasn't even a surf earlier. Yeah, it's a horrible pitch for, for like, playing and seeing what's happening. So he's dodging through for a 1D. Skulls into a no, push it into a skull, and that's two rerolls now for World Sitar. Two rerolls for Nico or Daz. Gets to 3D Surf and Skull. Well, there you go. So much for it's over, yeah. Amazingly, like, eight-man underworld or whatever got the job done on offense. <laughs> Just because Blackhawks is so slow and so unresponsive. Like, I guess that's what he had to do. He had, like, had to defend deeper, didn't he? He just had to defend, like, wider and deeper. Hard to do, but... Because you really want to push. Like, I really wanted to push in the same turn he did. But I guess he had to have not done that. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't. It would have never happened to me because I wouldn't be using Black Orcs. <laughs> I would have had Lizard Men. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, that would have been the temptation for sure to push him like that. But I guess Black Orcs, he had to not do that. And maybe most teams, right? Maybe most teams, like Dwarves, would have had to have been careful as well, right? Dwarves would have had to be careful and stay back. Orcs, you know, like pretty much every bash team, you know, it's it's tempting to go in like that, but you can't really. Like, obviously, Black Orcs are so slow, they're even worse than everyone else. Right, he wins the toss. One, two, three, four, five. The, the Underworld get a full 11. The Underworld get a full team of 11. Why is he defending like this? Does he think it's... Uh Golden goal. Interesting. Officious ref. What is it? This guy's stunned. Only him. Still 11 for this. So it's 11 aside still. Amazing that the, that the uh, Underworld still have 11. KOs with a vomit, so he's making good use of the vomit now. He's realised that maybe you shouldn't be trying to power these little bastards. Another removal. Stun Sneaky gets like a bit annoying, but it's not terrible, is it? Making up for all the all the non-powers earlier. Maybe he could have defended a bit deeper there. But like you do want to be piling in as much as possible. Goes for the old 1D blitz, his, his trusty 1D blitz that he's been doing continuously. <laughs> Uses a reroll, gets a, gets a stun. I mean, this is horrible for Nick or Daz, isn't it? Like, that's not... that's. I'm not Artemis, I'm not having a go at him for 1Ding, and, like, he just can't get a 2D, right? And, like, he could have 2D'd this guy, but then it required three players and he just didn't do anything. You know? Like, most turns, it's been hard for him to get a 2D blitz with the claw guy. Pow. 
Yep, it's a heroic effort, isn't it? Even if it's in vain. Might, yeah, Mighty Blow's just better than Claw, yeah. Mighty Blow's just better. Like, Claw is better, ver like, slightly better versus, uh... Versus Dwarves and Orcs and Lizards. But Mighty Blow is... It's just better. Gets a 2D, amazing. Oh, I can't see anything on this pitch, right? Let's 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 keep the Z on for the Wonderworld. Wow, Troll's gone stupid three times even with Pro. That's a pretty good argument against Pro. Get a wonder here, can he? Because he's got so many, so much guard on the uh, black hawk, so he can't exactly like cage dive and get a uh, get a wonder. Yeah, I guess that's what the claw reasoning is. Yeah, he, you know, if he thinks he can probably beat everybody else without claw, so have claw to help versus dwarves. And you know, there, there is a lot of lizards, right? There, are, there, you know, if you anticipate a lot of lizards and orcs then why not have something that's slightly better versus those and also helps versus dwarves but like to win the tournament you know you've got to be underworld as well yeah Colin took a similar team to this and he had block on the troll and then, like, use the troll as his primary blitzer, essentially. And then had the full six guard. And I, I must say, I preferred Colian's build to World Sitars. This is the Rondo file. We are in Chun's column here, so there could be a one D on the ball, couldn't there? Um, very difficult, but he could. He could potentially run all the way through here and run all the way through here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. So we could 1D the ball. I don't think he's going to go for it, but he could potentially. No, oh, he's just going to block with Claw. Gets a beautiful 2D. And he gets a KO, which is put down to a stone. Thanks to Claw. So oh, he's got there. Just standing in front of the orcs is pretty effective. Like this is what this is turn five of the drive, and he still hasn't passed the halfway line with the ball, and he's still got two rerolls. So maybe this is on a, uh, maybe this is on World Sitar a bit for being a bit uh, a bit lazy with his uh, penetration, but. You feel like he should have got further forward than this, and now, now this looks like the panic turn when you realise, oh shit, I just haven't moved up at all. And now this is uh, a relatively easy way to get a one D on the ball here with a goblin, which you know might be might be Nico Daz's best chance. Harold Dwyer. Oh, you know, maybe he'll just carry on 1D in with the claw guy. And uh, just stand in the way. I don't think standing in the way is great, but, you know, trying to win on kicks is a thing. Uphill's the troll. He 
it doesn't seem good, right? Because he's got the he's got the grab to hit the snotling. So he could have Yeah, you can blitz with him. He trips gold. He trips gold and had to use a reroll. <laughs> So he's only got one reroll left. Really want to get those guard cage corners again. Because the desperation cage die. Oh, I don't like this. I guess this goblin now has to dodge to uh, stand next to him. Yeah, okay. So if you stand next to him, you can only 1D you. And you have got forwards, that's good. Oh, he just runs all the way around. Should have stood in front. He runs all the way around. Didn't count the squares properly. Gets 2 deed. Gets powered. And oh my god, what a disaster. What a disaster. For World Sitar. Also, this guy's two heads, right? So even if you didn't see the claw guy, the two heads guy is very dangerous. Just like, you know, he could just run through any any snotting uh, these are goblins. <laughs> One, but still, he's he's really dangerous. All right, the two heads guy is something to think about. I don't know why I thought he had snotlings instead of goblins. There, disregard, errata, errata. <laughs> but it was, uh, yeah, that was that was pretty stupid. Yeah, that was a big mistake from World Satai. He should have he should have counted squares and known that that was actually a pretty likely. Should have known that was a pretty likely result. The grab's really quite cool on them. The brawl is pretty shit. Right, so this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI, GFI. But except you don't really want to score this turn, do you? And certainly not GFI without rerolls. Random cars. Oh, he rolls a 1 on the GFI! Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, it looks like there's absolutely a chance for Nico Daz to uh, to squeeze this out through kicks. Right? There's a chance. As small as it is. He's got the shoe hands now as well to pick it up, which is lovely. Oh my god. <laughs> Millions of dice from the snotlings. <gasps> He's gonna throw the goblin glorious. <laughs> yeah, it must have wildly inaccurate, right? <laughs> wildly inaccurate. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well there you go. I mean this is it, isn't it? This is uh this is the draw, 50-50. For Nico does. There you go. What can you say? Amazing stuff. Something for Ori or Lensis. If Ori had seen this game first, and they've won as well. They've won on kicks. Amazing. If Ori had won this game, maybe if Ori had seen this game first, maybe he wouldn't have conceded. They got their they got their gut runner killed. It were failed apple on about turn three or something. They got the roger killed. It, I mean, it was over. It was over on about turn three or four, and then uh, just unbelievable. Look at the dodges. Yeah, I don't doubt there's loads of dodges. Um, I mean, he had to. He had to, didn't he? 
He had to 104. Look, he's still he's still one in 36. He won in 36 so many times. Like he failed eight dodges, which is like they weren't all one in nines, right? Most of them were one in 36s. He most of the dodges he attempted one in 36s. He failed loads of snotling dodges. But um, or he was not playing against Black Hawks. He was not. But you know, still. And also he's playing against block, not against guard. But still, um, I mean, it was inspirational, wasn't it? Well, well done to Nico Daz, not giving up and uh, managing to pull out a kicks win versus the World Sitar. Commiserations to World Sitar, who has been eliminated. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.